Hello doll fans, it's Heather and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a thrift haul video, yay! Um, these are all items that I've picked up from my local second hand stores uh, within the past two weeks maybe. Uh, the charity shops that I went to were British Heart Foundation, Cancer Research, Windy Way Animal Charity and East Cheshire Hospice for the elderly. So that is quite a, a few things to get through. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is this doll that I got. This is the Mattel Elsa and she's in really good condition. She has her original uh, skirt and cape attached. Hair is in original style. Um, she doesn't have any shoes. I think she's missing her crown as well, but she's really, really nice. No major crisis as she was. I think she was a pound from um, East Coast Hospice. And the second thing I picked up was just quite random. There's this little mannequin. Um, it does actually say Disney underneath. Um, I think it could be uh, part of the Cinderella set by the Disney store. It still has um, the top attached. I'm not sure whether that is original or not. But I think that was about 50p and it's quite handy to um, display your doll clothes on. And the next thing I picked up is another doll. Um, she was from Cancer Research. Um, this is a Lardy Dar doll. Uh, she's really, really super pretty. A watermelon theme. Um, really nice hair in original style. Dress is really cute. Uh, she doesn't have any shoes, but other than that, she's really, really nice. I like these Lardy Dar dolls. The faces are really unique. And speaking of Lardy Dar, I did pick up another one. I think I got three all together. Here is another one that I got from the same charity shop. She is a really funky one. She has all these little circle patterns on her face and on her dress and she has little pink leggings. Her hair is really funky. It's all different colours. Pink, blue and purple. She doesn't have any shoes either but she's super pretty. And the third and final one I got is this gorgeous pink one. I think she is the frog princess. I don't really know much about the Lardy Dardles. But she is really nice. She still has a crown. Um, her dress is really cute. It's pink with this glitter detailing and she has a little pink bow as well. She hasn't got any shoes either but they are in really good condition. Oh gosh her eye shadow is super pretty. It's really glittery. I've just noticed just how pretty her eye makeup is. And her arm is bent actually. I didn't notice. The other two they just have straight arms. That lady has a bent arm. and. I've actually got a few more dolls here as well. Um, I was super excited to pick up this one. Um, he's not in the best condition, but he is awesome. This is the Hawaiian Toy Story 3 Ken, I believe. Uh, he has his original outfit and shoes. Um, his hair is very scuffed. It needs a lot of paintwork. And unfortunately, his head has actually broken, so it does need uh, repairing or you'll need a new body um, but he was a pound I think and he's quite rare um, to come by they didn't have Barbie in there so he was just by himself poor little Ken so I've decided to give him a home uh, he was from the Windy Way Animal Shelter he's super cool I don't actually have much Toy Story merchandise so he was a really super find and Tinkerbell. She is really pretty. Her dress is super stunning. All this leaf type design. Little frills and things. Little pedals. Um, she's not in the bestest condition. She doesn't have shoes either and she has this really strange mark on her forehead there. I have tried to remove it with soap and water and asked acetone but it will not go for the life of me i cannot get rid of it i i don't know what it is it's just probably where part of the paint is rubbed off maybe but she has her wings as well they are uh, a translucent plastic with all this glitter design on i think she is by playmates i think or bandai she's not on mattel or disney store she's quite small smaller than the regular size of barbie she's probably about nine eight inches tall and another doll that I got was from Monster High and this is Toralei Stripe. Now she is the Ghouls Alive one. Um, she's meant to light up and make a noise but as you can see her batteries are pretty much dead. But she's fabulous. She has her original shoes, outfit, belt and a little scarf. Her hair is in 
super condition as well she hasn't got any marks on her face or anything and she has a tail as well I think her tails actually attached to yeah her tails attached so <laughs> there we go she's super pretty um, I think the ghouls alive ones are quite hard to find now so I'm really pleased to find her oh I forgot to mention the Torlai and the Tinkerbell were from uh, I think they were from British Heart Foundation a pound each <laughs> and i got another doll as well this is just a really cute barbie um i have no idea which one she is or have any idea whether she's an original outfit i'm guessing it could be original because it matches her earrings um perfectly and she's got a super pretty face super pretty she doesn't have any shoes either and it just says mattel 1998 and her body is 1999 indonesia but she's super pretty. I like her a lot. She was a pound as well from, I think she was from East Cheshire Hospice. I'm getting so confused about which stores and charity shops I've been in. And the next thing I picked up was, oh my gosh, it's getting caught in her hair, um, is this really cool plush. Um, his body is plush though, but his head's plastic and his hands are plastic as well. He is from um, a film that came out about 2005 I think and it, the film was called Robots and it's a 20th Century Fox production and it, the, one of the voice actors was Robin Williams and this is the robot that Robin Williams did the voice acting for, I think his name's Fender but he is a really good size and I think he's quite rare, I've seen him on eBay for like £15 I think but he's in super condition and he is super cute, I like his face really good condition and we have another doll here um, she is the toddler Merida animated doll from the Disney store and she's nude she doesn't have her dress or shoes or anything but she was 50p 50 pence uh, yeah really awesome price and she's in a really good condition her hair is looking a little bit crazy but um, nothing that a good wash and condition won't fix uh, she was from Oxfam actually and she's getting caught in my hair <laughs> but I think she's super pretty she'll make a, a great addition to my Disney collection and speaking of Disney um, another doll again <laughs> that I picked up was this lovely lady and I was like no. Uh, this is the Disney Store 17 inch singing Elsa doll. Now she is the original release. Um, I do have the later release Elsa. So her gloves light up um, from the tip of her fingers up to her elbow and she's got the iconic blue dress with the cape and she's getting caught in my hair as well. My hair's getting in the way. And she has her original shoes as well, these blue flats. And her hair is in the braid but it's looking a little bit funky on top um, she doesn't work so I'm assuming she has no batteries so I'll definitely have to put some new batteries in to see whether she works but her face is oh my gosh it's super pretty there's no um, loss of paint or anything she doesn't need touching up she's got no dirty marks she's absolutely perfect I cannot wait to add her to my frozen collection as well she is absolutely beautiful so I was really sure. I think she was three pounds from Windy White Animal Shelter Shop. And um, speaking of animals, <laughs> I just picked up this random little book, and it just says a little book of sentiments for cat lovers. Uh, this was twenty p, and it is super cute. It has all these little quotes and little images of different kitty cats. Uh, one says. Cats are intended to teach us that not everything in nature has a function. So it's just our little quotes and sayings, uh, which is really, really, really sweet. It's so cute. So yeah, I got that. <laughs> that was from the Windy White Animal Shelter Shop. And in Bernardo's, which is a, a, a shop for uh, underprivileged children, uh, for child abuse, um, I got this book by uh, Liz Bradwell, and it's part of the Disney Twisted Tales line. Uh, part of your world so this is the little mermaid one and the star surprise on this was 99p um so yeah i'm really looking forward to reading this uh, book um i've read some of the other ones in the series and if you're a disney fan i really highly recommend these books because they are super awesome so that is one book and i got another book as well 
Uh, this is Moana. This is the book of the film. Um, so it's just just the basic little general story of Moana and the artwork in it is super pretty as well um, there's some nice pictures in there of Moana and Maui and the canoe and Tafiti this was 30 pence from the same shop and I have another book as well this is the last book that I got this is Frozen the Disney classic one this is a hardback and the reason that I got this book is for the artwork. It is super, super, absolutely stunning. The pictures in this book is absolutely wow. Absolutely mind blowing. I love the art style. It's super, super pretty. Really, really nice. This was 30p as well. So as you can see, yeah, it's just illustrated beautifully. It also has a story as well. Um, I think retail for like four pounds, so that is really good. And another thing that I picked up, just random as well, is this Disney Furry Tale Friends little figure. And this guy is called Strikes a Zebra and he belongs to Jasmine, I believe. So he is part of the Palace Pets line and he was a pound as well, still in box. <laughs> There's different ones that you can collect in the series there. So, and these ones are apparently super bright, so they're more like a neon colour. And I've got two more items as well. So, um, this I got uh, from YMCA, which is for homeless people. This was just sitting um, on a shelf with a load of ornaments. This is a Hasbro uh, Rapunzel dress and shoe set. And it is brand new in packaging. And it has this little hook that you can hang up on it. It's really sweet. This was 50p. So yeah, if I ever get um, a second-hand Rapunzel doll, um, I'll, <laughs> she'll have an outfit to wear, which is super exciting. And speaking of doll clothes, I found this little bag um, of Disney doll clothing just in the bottom of this like basket of plushies and soft toys. Um, I've not actually looked through it that well, but I could see Rapunzel's dress and a few other things. Um, so there is Ariel's tail. <laughs> and we have a Cinderella dress as well and the Rapunzel dress super pretty and glittery and we have just this grey vest top I don't know it looks like it could belong to Kristoff from Frozen I'm not sure and ooh, we have this really pretty polka dot dress with Minnie Mouse on that's super cute and I'd totally wear that if it was my size <laughs> and another Rapunzel dress this is different to the other one this is a uh, later release I think 2012 and ooh, we have a Sleeping Beauty Aurora dress and they're all in really good condition as well I can't see no uh, marks or tears or rips or anything and we have ooh, they're super pretty definitely Jasmine from Aladdin little skirt thing over the top of the pants I think these are an old metal one they are absolutely beautiful and then we have this random little net plug from a doll <laughs> I don't know what that is doing in there and this little really tiny little dress that is super cute but I don't have any dolls that that fit into but it's really super pretty it looks like a circus dress and then we have this wedding veil looks like it could belong to any Disney wedding character, it could be Rapunzel's, I'm not sure, but that is in really good condition as well. And we have this really cute cushion with Cinderella's glass slipper, I think this is Mattel, yes Mattel 1991, wow that's really quite old. So this could be Cinderella's veil, because I do have her up there and it looks identical actually to the veil that she's wearing. And we have ooh, another Jasmine dress. This is um, the 1991 Mattel Jasmine's dress as well. And the last thing I think is this pink overskirt, which definitely goes over this dress. So this belongs to Jasmine as well. And oopsies, no, there is something else in the bottom. This is a little magic mirror. And it's got the stars on and I am absolutely certain this belongs to Sleeping Beauty the 1991 Mattel version 
for sure because my doll that I have up here has exactly the same thing. So that is a really, 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 really awesome find. Um, some of these are quite old. So yeah guys, that's just some of the things that I picked up um, over the course of the past two weeks. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and you can subscribe by hitting uh, the icon in the top left or right corner. And don't forget to check out other videos that I've done. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all very soon on my next video. Bye! And do not forget to click that notification bell.